Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be going over this month's or my current favorites. I don't know really that it's this month because some of these things I've been using for like a long time. So basically I'm just gonna show you guys a bunch of current favorites that I wanna share with you that I think that some of you may like. So if you're excited to see what my current favorites are, then go ahead and keep watching. If you're new to my channel, I try to do it once a month, but sometimes I just kind of just don't keep up with that and I do it like every couple of months, but I've been really trying to get once a month, like just current favorite things. I try not to replicate or duplicate what I've used in previous ones. Basically, I'm just going to show you the current things that I'm loving. It doesn't mean that I only use it for this. I've only used it for this month. It doesn't mean it's only my favorite for this month. It's just a thing that I do. I just think I'm over explaining. It doesn't fucking matter. Okay. These are the things that I love jot that down. The prices or where you can get them will be down in the description so if you guys are interested in any of the things that I'm sharing you can check those out for yourself. Also this is not sponsored, it's not an ad, the things down below I'm not gonna get any money off of it's just for knowledge purposes and me telling you guys what I'm currently in love with. So, so we're gonna get into it because I've talked too fucking much. Okay also 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 I started Weight Watchers. Mm, I'm excited. I've only been doing it for a couple of days, but fingers crossed, I'm trying to lose me some weight, get a little fitter. You know what I mean. You know, you know what I mean? I'm trying to like meh. I'm like meh, and I'm trying to like meh. So, all right, getting into it. First things first, we're gonna get out of the way are my makeup erasers, but more specifically, these seven day sets. Makeup eraser had a humongous 50% off sale, and I went crazy but I got like a ton of them I just washed these so these are all brand new as well uh so these are the ones I have but mainly I want to tell you guys about the minis and the seven day sets because I find that these are actually better so these have like little handles on the back super cute so I've been using makeup erasers for a very long time I'm a big advocate of them I do have a code which is MUE10 so if you do want to get a 10% off discount you can use that code when you check out I've bought all of this nothing None of this was ever sent to me and I bought it because I absolutely love them. I love how they feel. I love how they are on my skin. I have very dry, like just, it's just sensitive. It's just like a thing, okay? I've tried like other ones and like knockoff brands and other people have like, you know, recommended things and they just wind up really just tearing my skin up. At first it'll be like really great and I'm like, okay, these aren't that expensive because these are $20, but the other ones are cheaper. However, I do eventually start to see like more redness and irritation going on. This one equals what is it, like 3,600 what makeup wipes. How much you get in a pack? Like 20, 20 for $5. So divide that, do the math. 3,600 divided by 20 times $5. Okay, it's a lot, it's a lot. So it's $20 at one time, but these last me so long. You only need maybe one or two to last you for a very long time. So I ended up using like only two of these and I just felt like it was a lot better. I didn't feel like I had a lot of like this cloth. So a lot of the times like it'll be like hanging down, there's water and I just don't use the whole thing. So I found that the smaller ones are a better option for me and I'm so excited and I'm in love with these. This bag, I got one cause I didn't know the sets came with it, it was like $5 but let me tell you what, it's needed because my kids will think they're washcloths and put them in the lawn, in the like hamper or pantry or the freaking laundry place where the towels go in the bathroom and then they use them for their bodies and then I'm like mm, uh no thanks or they use them to you know clean the bathroom with Lysol now they're in this so my husband when he's folding or my kids they can just go okay these are mommy's makeup wipes so the next thing I have yeah, are recyclable bottles but <laughs> these are obviously not beauty related these are the two literal drinks other than water that I drink on a daily. I drink one cup of this and I drink one cup of this and not together and not at the same time. I have recently removed Red Bulls out of my diet. Oh, okay. I'm trying to be healthier. I'm trying to be better. I'm trying. So either way, I am a big, big tea person. I love water. I don't like sodas. I don't like juices a lot. I love Starbucks coffee. Okay, I do. But if you like Starbucks coffee, you know, it's fucking expensive. So I decided to get this. This is like $5 for this thing and this will last me almost the whole week. But I'm spending $5 a week versus six, 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 six dollars a day to seven dollars a day. Do you know what I mean? Where this is the Tazo, I never know how to say this, Tazo, Tazo, um, 
whatever. It is the tea that sold at Starbucks as well and it is the Awake. This is just the black tea. I like it because it's just just a hint of sweet. I don't like super sweet tea. Uh, back in the day me would have drank sweet tea with like six pounds of sugar but like I just can't really I can't stomach all of that so I like that one because it's it's very fresh I feel like and it's not super super sweet. And I get both of those off of Amazon fresh. I get my groceries delivered because I'm lazy and we're still dealing with the panini. So you know that's what I do and I think they're both like five dollars so the next thing I have <laughs> so I had a pair of white converses recently white converses are my favorite shoes in the whole world converses are my favorite shoes in the whole world my sister tried to get me to get a pair of vans we went on a sister shopping situation last weekend and she tried to get me to get a pair of vans and I was like oh I really want a pair of vans but then I was like oh no I'm a converse person that's who I am that's who I'll always be what it is I love converses I have a lot of colors <laughs> they're all beat up because I wear them often so I just wanted to share with you guys these are my favorite shoes but these are my current favorite because I just feel like a good nice white shoe goes with everything okay and they're not expensive shoes to be fair let me pref let me preface preface it let me preface it by saying I wear a child's shoe so they're not very expensive for me I think that the kids ones are like $39.99 and the adult ones are like $59.99 or something like that whatever it's more expensive so they're not very expensive shoes I like them when I'm doing my weight training I like them when I'm just walking around and doing nothing uh, if I need something more supportive I will wear more of a sneaker sneaker where these are just they're inexpensive they're cute they go with everything I can kind of dress up I can kind of dress like a bum like I do 90% of the time I can do whatever but these are one of the most comfortable pairs of shoes in my opinion that I've ever owned I ruined my old white ones I had to get a new pair of white shoes uh, I always have a pair of white shoes it's just something I have to have the next favorite thing that I've been using since I got it is this lip combo I have it on right now and it's just like stunning so what are they this is the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Krabby liquid lipstick from the Pelt Spoken collection and then this is a ColourPop pencil in shot clock that's what it's called shot clock okay cool so I'm gonna swatch these so I'm gonna show you that oh it's so pretty it's so pretty I just love it I'm in love with it I did a review on the ones that I got I wound up getting being able to get like seven of them I'll put that up here for you guys I didn't mind it there were some inconsistencies with the formula but as for wear like I feel like it's so good but it doesn't dry down 100% for me but everyone else is like oh it draws down 100% and I'm like what the freak am I doing wrong because I got like the driest lips on earth so usually when a liquid lipstick hits them it absorbs like the desert but for some reason I mean it's not bad I like that it doesn't dry down 100% I'm just kind of like the inconsistencies in the formula kind of situation so the next two things I have currently are the Fenty Beauty skin tint if you're not new to my channel you know how I feel about this I'm currently wearing it it's just heaven it's like it's so it's the perfect formula for a person with dry skin it is the perfect formula for a person who does not like a lot of heavy foundation whatever it's a perfect formula for the summer it's perfect there's just not one thing I don't like about this other than the size I wish there was more of it but it's not that bad it is fairly small however a little goes a long way and it was only 28 bucks for Fenty. That's not bad. So the next thing is the Wishful Thirst Trap Juice. I believe this is the same stuff that's in this, the masks. I love the masks. So I was like, you know what? Let me try a little sample of this. And I think I got it less than a month ago. I think it was, I did a big Huda, Huda, Huda haul. Uh, when I did a skincare video, I'll put it up here for you. And I was like, listen, I'm only gonna get a little one because if I hate it or it irritates my skin or it doesn't hydrate my skin, like most shit doesn't, I'm not gonna pay for it. So I got a little one and <laughs> I don't know if you can see no probably not because it's frosted there's literally like nothing left in the tube okay there's like nothing left I use this at least two to three times a day okay so it has hyaluronic acid peptides aloe vera maybe that's what it is aloe vera and then hollyhock rose I don't know I don't know what who to put in this formula mm -mm. I don't get one it's not one day I've put this on since I've had it that I've had an irritation from it. I've put it over my eczema. It's literally one of the only things that has been able to hydrate my eczema. I've had eczema my whole life, but the past year for some reason has been extremely, extremely harsh. And just no matter what cream, what lotion, whatever I put on, it just doesn't really hydrate it. 
I put this on and I put my moisturizer on and I'm like, oh, look at my glowy skin. Needless to say, uh, with the Sephora sale, I ordered the big one of these, so. <laughs> and then the next thing I wanted to show you guys, and this is kind of like a, I have to take this. It's not really a favorite, but this brand and where I get it, I get a very, I feel like it's a very good price. So this is, and by the way, I'm not a doctor. I am not a doctor. I'm going to say that before I show you any of these because I have two vitamins, two supplements. I'm not a doctor. Before taking anything I recommend to you, please speak to your doctor. I'm just letting you know, okay? I'm not a professional. I'm not a medical professional. I have to warn you because if I don't and someone takes it, I can get in trouble, okay? Okay. So this is Loratadine called Good Sense Non-Drowsy Allergy Relief. 24 hour pill, Loratadine tablets, 10 milligrams. If you guys know what that is, basically Claritin is the exact same thing. It's just not Claritin. It's not name brand. But let me tell you, okay? So even off brand, I wanna say Walmart Claritin, it's not expensive, but you don't get very many. This is 365 tablets for $12. And it literally does the exact same thing my Claritin has ever done for me. And I have very bad allergies. If you're not new to my channel, you know. Not last year. Last year was actually pretty good, but it's probably because of the panini and I wasn't outside. So that was good. The year before, <laughs> it was so bad. I sounded sick every freaking day. And I'm telling you guys, these are amazing. Me, me and my son both have very bad seasonal allergies. We're allergic to the entire fucking outside. So we have to take these. And 12, it was like 12.77, I want to say, for a year's worth of pills. That's not bad. That is not a bad deal. But again, I'm not a medical professional. Please ask your doctor before you take anything I'm recommending to you. Okay. Just again, for my safety and yours. So the next thing are these. This is the Halo Beauty Clear Glowing Skin Kiwi Seed Booster. Intensively nourishing. Now, now, I waited a long time to buy these because they're expensive. Um, first of all, if I'm being honest, they're expensive for a vitamin. However, I did see a lot a lot of people posting some really good pictures of their skin. I was skeptical. I'm always skeptical. But I will tell you, I've had this for two weeks and my skin looks really good. So I have very dull skin, you know, under all this foundation, you'll never know. But I do have very dull skin because it's very dry. And I have just started to see like a more natural glow in my skin, which is strange because the only way I get like a natural glow is if I put on not natural products. So <laughs> I have seen drastic changes. So I get these little bumps all over my face. Again, I need to see a dermatologist. I know, please, I know. But I get these little bumps all over my face. I'm not really certain what they are. I've tried everything. I thought I had fungal acne. Comes to find out I don't have fungal acne. And I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy these. And they're actually fucking amazing. So for me, my face, if you've been here a long time, you know the struggle I have with my skin. Like it doesn't matter how much water I drink, it doesn't matter what I do, it's dry, it's dull. So these, they've, they've actually been really good. So the next thing is the Becca Under Eye Corrector. So I have it in light medium and medium to deep, medium to deep, I love these. I use the light medium under my foundation or under my, yeah, under my foundation and concealer and then I use the medium to deep over top. So I double it. So I do both layers and it just gives me like the super bright under eye. I know that Becca's going out of business and I know that these are really, really hot on the market because TikTok made me buy it. So I just, I love this. I really do. Um, I'm hoping I can get someone sale when they, you know, kind of close in September. I know that's sad, but it, it is a good product. So if you don't have it, I would get it before they don't produce anymore. And then the next thing, <laughs> is freck <laughs> this is the faux freckles if you guys have not seen my latest video i think i posted it monday check it out here i think it was monday it was the e-girl like i redid doja cat's like um uh, makeup look and she did faux freckles and i was like this is so stupid mm, i've been putting faux freckles on my face and i fucking love it i don't know why is that like the dumbest thing to enjoy as an adult like i'm a 30 year old woman and i'm over here like oh let me cover up my real freckles to put on fake freckles i don't know i don't know why we do these things but i really do like this product i tried the color pop one that i got from the color pop haul that i did it does not compare like this one you can put a lot on and just make it look like random and more realistic i have it on today i don't know if you can see it i just did very light um and this is also not my shade i have to get my shade where the color pop one is like a pen you just stamp it and you have to try to make it as random as possible and if you know your brain doesn't let you do that i know that sounds really weird but anytime i try to 
put it on like in a constellation randomly, it always winds up being like super even. I think my brain just automatically does that. So I recommend these. I love them. If you like like a cute fun moment. Also with putting blush across my face. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that I have blush all across my face. In that video, to be fair, it was a lot more blush than I have on now. I wouldn't put that much on my face, but I definitely put it from, from one side to the other. It's, it's on my nose. It's on my eye. Doja Cat has changed my life. The next thing is the ABH Brow Pen. This pen is amazing. Now, let me preface that this by saying NYX has one. I have it. I don't like it. It's way too thin and it doesn't, I feel like it doesn't give me enough control over the size and the length and the form of the strokes where the ABH one does because it's a little thicker. It's not too thick to where they come out like real chunky looking, but the one with NYX, I feel like I have to like drag it. I can't just flick it. Like this one just flicks, 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 and I am I have an amazing brow. So the next thing I have is the Morphe 579 brush. I have gotten a lot of these in like brush sets or whatever. And I've thrown them out because I'm like, I don't need this brush. This is the dumbest brush. Up. This brush does fucking everything. Okay. And this is cheap. This is cheap brush, like $6. I do my chin. Like I'm able to really get in here and like just carve out my chin. Okay. So I look, you know, a little thinner, a little thin. Okay, not so round, a little thin, but I'm able to do that. I'm able to do my nose with it. And I also now draw my bronzer to where I want it. And then I flick it up and then I blend it with a brush. So I actually use this all the time. So this is the Strata cup. I will tell you, I believe it was Jaclyn Hill who had mentioned it on her stories. And I went to check them out. They did have a four pack for like 29 bucks. And I was like, okay, these are amazing. They do not sweat. They are heavy duty. You can like get them decorated if you want. Like if people have like those little crochet machines, whatever they're called, the little machines, you put stickers on, okay? They're nice. I really do like them. You do have to hand wash them, but I like the matte look of them. Like I am going to go get a set. They have a set of four of skinny ones that I'm going to get for my children just so they can use them. But they're a little bit like skinnier for the hand so they can kind of grab them better than this because even like my, my adult ish hand it's the same size as a child, um, has a hard time just like keeping it. They did, like I said, it came with four. Uh, I have three left, so they're not bad quality, but Emma, my one-year-old, if you're new here, she's one, she yeeted my black one across the back porch and it popped. So there's two layers, the outer layer and the inner layer to keep it insulated. They disconnected from each other. So if you yeet them, they will break. I'm not saying they're indestructible, but they are pretty heavy duty quality. They have short ones, they have skinny ones, they have these. So. I just really, really enjoy them. Uh, it keeps my drinks cold. I can keep it on my desk because I am teleworking still. Um, and I don't have to worry about it leaking on any of my electronics. So like when I'm editing and my MacBook is on my desk, I don't have to worry about it leaking where like my mason jar glasses and stuff, they sweat. So I have to worry about keeping them at a distance. So last but certainly not least, this. This is the Sonic Smooth Derma Planing System by Michael Todd Beauty. Now that it's done and over with and I've submitted what I had to, this was sent to me for free. I was paid to do an ad for them. This is not, this is not an ad. Okay, not an ad. The one on my Instagram is not an ad. I sent it to them. They will be putting the ad up, but <laughs> I hate to do my own horn, but I'm so excited. Anyways, so <laughs> Back to what I was saying. So I did get this for free. This is $99 adults. I found that out. This is $99. But hear me out. This thing made shaving. I shave my face. Let me let me say that. In case anyone is like, what the fuck? I shave my face to get the dead skin off and to also get the peach fuzz off. It just makes your makeup sit better, your skincare absorb better. So I got this and I was like, you know what? This is kind of gimmicky, right? Like, mm, let me use it. Obviously, I used it before I did the ad. Um, that's why it took so long for me to submit. That's why it took so long for me to tell you guys because one, I was kind of nervous and two, I don't know. It was just a big thing. So I used it and I was like, oh my freaking God. So you turn it on. Can you hear it? It's like vibrating and I'm not going to do it now because I have a face full of makeup, but you literally just go like this and it's like, there's no nothing like that. It's so smooth and easy and you can make it like go up higher if you want to, but I, I've only done the first two levels. When I tell you I'm posting a video to Instagram soon, so keep an eye out. This whole portion right here was like white. It was so, because there was so much hair and dead skin there and I was letting it grow out obviously to 
do the video for this it was nice and the problem is I do love the disposable ones for a very long time however I did find that as I use them I would have to throw them out immediately I couldn't use them again because they would wind up breaking my skin out or I would have little cuts if they're too cheap they give you little cuts if you don't use it the right way it gives you little cuts I mean I'm sure if I scratch this across my face I'd gash my face open but what I'm saying is I found that it was causing me to have a bunch of bumps like those bumps I was telling you more bumps on my face and it made my makeup look horrible I've used this several times since I received it again it was sent to me for free and it is expensive but it literally saved my skin because I no longer get those bumps when I'm doing it I don't know if it's like the vibration or what it is maybe the blade is sharper I don't know I'm also not going like this like you know if you shave your face you know how you're like you're trying to shave it all off and a lot of the times it missed a lot of it like the little ones would like the just those ones would miss so much and I'm just like okay what is the point you can't shave the other way because then it just winds up wrecking your skin you also get a lot of refillables you get eight of them seven in here and one in here I really do think that this is worth it if you are an avid face shaver so if you do a dermaplaning on your own I think that this is more of a professional tool I don't think that this is like a quick out the door whatever get off your massage your mustache whatever this is definitely something that like if you do this on a regular basis like I do I do it very frequently just to keep my skin smooth just to keep my skin like looking good when I'm on camera and makeup looking good and all that so it's definitely something that I feel like even if I wasn't sent to me I would have tried had I known it existed and bought it because to me it's a really good investment if you like I said do it frequently enough because those oh god they used to tear my skin up though I'm excited about it it makes my skin look really good so I had to pop that one into this favorites but I also had to tell you guys like this was sent to me it was an ad that I did and I'm so excited I just want you guys to know all the things that I'm currently loving whether they be something small or something big or something like shoes but that is all I have for my favorites guys I hope you liked it I know this was kind of a long one I know I was kind of off the wall and crazy I don't know what's happening I feel a little like Meh, today but i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you give the video a big thumbs up for me make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you're new here subscribe i do new videos every single week and you don't want to miss out on those and i will see you guys on the next one bye